So I had a completely different video that I was planning on posting today for today's video. And then I realized Thanksgiving is next week. So I needed to post this video because it's pumpkin pie. Okay, so I got this from Ollie's and I actually paid less than $1.29. It was like 75% off. So I only paid like 50 cents or something for this, maybe less. Um, but this is Jello brand, no bake, pumpkin style pie. And I wanna see how good this is. It says it makes eight slices. It's got the crust mix and the filling mix. So I've got here my pie tin. And if this is good, like as good as store-bought, this is a really good idea. If you're hosting Thanksgiving this year or just don't have time to bake a whole pie, this might be a good option. So let's see, let's see how this tastes. So I'm gonna mix all the ingredients and then you're supposed to put it in the refrigerator for one hour. So I'm actually gonna put it in for several hours and then after dinner, I'm gonna come back out here with the finished stuff and we're gonna do a little taste test and we're gonna see if this is Thanksgiving approved. If it's Thanksgiving approved, then this is awesome. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so I got this little bowl for the pie crust and I'm going to pan you down a little bit so we can mix the Okay, so in this bowl, I have four teaspoons of melted butter. I already like pre-melted it and everything so I didn't have to do that. So we're just gonna th throw that in there and then we need two teaspoons of sugar. So I had to go run and buy some sugar just a little bit ago because I thought I had sugar, but apparently I didn't. So now we have a brand new bag. We're gonna put one, it says tea, two teaspoons, right? Yes. Oh, tablespoons, whoops. Is there two teaspoons in a tablespoon? I think so. So we're just gonna <laughs> do four of these. Okay, so we have two tablespoons of sugar, and then we're gonna add in, we gotta open the box and add in the crust mix right here. So it says number one, crust mix. And I love that this is no bake. Oh, that smells so good. All right, so we're gonna mix all of that together. Oh my gosh, it says four tablespoons of butter. I don't know why I thought teaspoons. Let me go grab two more tablespoons of butter. All right, so apparently I can't read. So we're going to throw that in there. And because I just discovered that two teaspoons is slightly smaller than a tablespoon, um, I'm going to throw in just a tiny bit more of that sugar as well to make it to two um, tablespoons. So there we go. We're gonna mix this all up. All right, so there we go. It smells delicious, by the way. And then we just put it in the pan. And we're just gonna press it down to make it flat around the edges and everything. All right, so that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna put that off to the side. And then I'm going to grab my big mixing bowl and we're gonna mix the filling. So we're gonna add the pie filling bag, which says number two, step two on it. We're gonna add the whole thing in there. And then we need to add two and a half cups of cold milk. I have whole milk right here.
and we're going to pour two and a half cups into the bowl. So one cup, two cups. It is a lot of cups. It's so runny. Well, I guess the next step should make it less runny. So I have this nifty little mixer here and it says to beat the filling on low speed for one minute. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so that was just going way too fast. So I'm just gonna hand beat it because it started like spraying everywhere. So we're just gonna mix it by hand for a minute. All right, so here's our mixture and it definitely has thickened up quite a bit. Now all we gotta do is just pour that mixture in to the pie crust. All right, so that's how it looks. We're gonna stick it in the fridge for an hour, actually a little longer than an hour till dessert time, and then we're gonna try it. I'm, I'm curious to see how that's gonna set. Chewy in his little pumpkin spice sweatshirt that I got from Five Below. So cute. He looks so cute in it. All right, so it's been way over an hour. And I got the pie out of the fridge. So I'm going to cut it. And I'm just going to cut me a small piece just because um it's actually before dinner so um but I wanted to try it actually you know what I need a good thumbnail we're gonna cut a big slice and then I'm gonna save the rest <laughs> I'm gonna save the rest for dessert all right so it's a little hard to get out of here. All right, so here is our slice. It smells good. And I've got a little piece still on there. So let's, let's taste this. Mm. It's good. Not anywhere close as good as homemade or um, like the store-bought already made pies, but in a pinch, this is really nice. This is really nice to um, make if you really don't, just don't have the time to make a pie. You don't wanna go to the store and buy a really expensive pie. This is nice. I would eat this on Thanksgiving and I'm probably gonna eat that whole pie. Not right this second, but it's good. It tastes really good. It's not identical to like real pumpkin pie, but it's definitely extremely pumpkin flavored. The consistency is nice. The consistency is more like pudding, like a thick custard, pudding. I can't stop eating it, but <laughs> it's really good. I really like that. This is definitely Thanksgiving approved. I just ate a little piece of the crust by itself too. And that was really good. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have an awesome Thanksgiving. And this was from, um, I got this from Ollie's, but 
I know they have the Jell-O brand stuff at Walmart. Um, I've seen it at grocery stores as well. So, um, if you really don't feel like baking this Thanksgiving, pick yourself up one of these because they're pretty good. They're, it, it's actually really good. Like, it's not identical to pumpkin pie. Don't, like, get me wrong. Don't think that it's going to be an exact replacement. But it is still really good. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.